many species lived on this earth during the days when this earth was formed. These are the second generation species. These mammoths lived during the early Pliocene in what is now southern and eastern Africa, about 5 million years ago. Descendants of these mammoths moved north and continued to live with many subsequent species. They eventually occupied much of Eurasia before migrating into North America about 1.5 to 1.3 million years ago, becoming the ancestors of the Columbian mammoths. The woolly mammoths were the last species to evolve. They evolved in East Asia about 4 lakh years ago. Some survived on Russia's Rangel Island in the Arctic Ocean and on the Temir Peninsula in mainland Siberia from about 3,700 to 4,700 years ago. They were also used during the construction of the Great Pyramid of Ancient Egypt. Mammoth remains have been found in many places. Through biostructural studies it has become possible to reconstruct the evolutionary history of the species. Primitive mammoths can be identified by the number of enamel ridges on their molars. These rifts gradually increased as new species evolved and replaced the former. Over time the teeth became longer, taller from the top of the head down and shorter from the back to the front. The earliest African species of the genus Mammothus, the Pliocene Mammothus subplanifrons and the Pleistocene Mammothus africanus, were the ancestors of its later species. Mammoths entered Europe into China about 3 million years ago, and the first species to spread throughout was named M. rumanus. Scientists have noted that only molars of this species are known, which have 8 to 10 enamel ridges. These populations evolved and diverged from the previous type to be replaced by M. meridionalis. Instead of this species, the steppe mammoth, M. trogonteri had molars with 18 to 20 cusps, which originated in East Asia about 1.8 million years ago. Between 1 and 0.7 million years ago the steppe mammoth species replaced M. meridionalis in Europe. The Colombian mammoth is called M. columbi. M. trogonteri originated from the tribe that entered North America about 1 million years ago between 800,000 and 400,000 years ago in Siberia, mammoths evolved from M. trogonteri with 26 tusks, which became woolly mammoths. These woolly mammoths replaced the steppe mammoth in Europe in the late Middle Pleistocene about 200,000 years ago. By the end of the Pleistocene, the mammoths of continental Eurasia had undergone major changes, including cranium, lowering and raising of the lower jaw, increase in molar hypsodonty index, increase in plate number and thinning of dental enamel. Because of this change in physical appearance, European mammoths were divided into distinct groups. Early Pleistocene, Mammothus meridionalis. Middle Pleistocene, Mammothus trogonteri. Late Pleistocene, Mammothus primigenius. The main reason for this diversity of these three species is environmental change and migration. Take woolly mammoths for example, they lived in vast grasslands. Mammoths have adapted accordingly because the cold steppe tundra of the northern hemisphere has an ideal climate for mammoths to thrive. Like today's elephant, mammoths were very large. Mammoths stand 13 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh up to 8 tons. The largest males of these can exceed 12 tons. However, most species of mammoth are as large as the current Asian elephant. Asian elephants typically stand about 10 feet tall at the shoulder and exceed 5 tons. Compared to humans, different mammoth species have a gestation period of 22 months, resulting in the birth of a single cub. Their lifestyle is probably similar to that of African and Asian elephants, with mammoth cubs living in groups led by their mothers, while males live alone or form separate groups after mating. Mammoths typically have a large amount of fat, which greatly influences their shape and stores large amounts of nutrients necessary for survival in temperatures below minus 50 degrees Celsius. Mammoths use fat to build up their muscular system and fight off enemies, allowing them to live longer. 
Woolly mammoths are adapted to arctic life with genetic features such as small ears and tails to reduce body heat loss, a thick layer of fat, long thick hair and numerous sebaceous glands for insulation, as well as a hump on the back of the neck that acts as a heat source and fat store in winter. Mammoths vary somewhat in diet, although the diet of the Colombian mammoth is primarily grass grazing. American Colombian mammoths feed primarily on cactus leaves, trees, and shrubs. These mammoths, like modern elephants, had hypsodont molars. These traits allowed mammoths to live a wide range of habitats due to the availability of grasses and trees. For the Mongo Chen mammoth, its diet consists of herbs, grasses, larch and shrubs. European mammoths have a diet of carbon fixation plants. Unlike the Arctic tundra and steppe where mammoths live, they live on fubs and in areas where the climate is moist and warm. They are rich in protein and easily digestible than grasses and woody plants. A baby mammoth, discovered in 2007 on the Yamal Peninsula in western Siberia, is known to feed on the dung of older mammoths, just like today's elephants. This is evidenced by the fact that the baby mammoth's teeth are not yet fully developed to chew grass. Mammoths living in the Arctic fed mainly on fobs such as Artemisia during the last ice age. Graymanoids are only a small part of their diet. Woolly mammoths are the last species. All Colombian mammoths in North America and northern Eurasia died out during the last ice age. Recent woolly mammoths have disappeared from Europe and continental northern Siberia, southern Siberia by about 12,000 years ago. A small group on St. Paul Island, Alaska survived until 3750 BC, and small mammoths on Rangel Island survived until about 2000 BC. A global warming trend that occurred 12,000 years ago led to extinction due to ice age and rising sea levels forests replaced grasslands across the continent. The available habitat for some megafaunal species such as the mammoth has decreased. But such climate changes are not new to them. Generally the mammoth population must have become extinct either due to climatic reasons or overhunting by humans. This mammoth species declined during the transition from the late Pleistocene era to the Holocene era because global warming at the end of the Pleistocene epoch changed the environment in which the mammoth lived. The mammoth steppe is a periglassal plain with abundant herbaceous and grassy vegetation, which died out along with the mammoth due to climate change. Mammoths moved far into Eurasia where they became extinct. Also, late Paleolithic and Mesolithic human hunters may have wiped out the last mammoth species in Europe. Although there is no definitive proof, there is evidence that humans may have caused the extinction of the mammoth. Homo erectus set mammoth meat 1.8 million years ago. Various sites in Eastern Europe date back to 15,000 to 44,000 years ago where humans built bone dwellings. In the Temi Peninsula, there was a close relationship between the endangered mammoth species and the grasslands and humans and mammoths coexisted. Thus, humans played only a minor role in the extinction of the species. St. Paul Island, where mammoths lived until about 8,000 years ago in what is now Alaska, was submerged by 80 to 90 percent when sea levels rose, eventually becoming too small for them to drown. Now let us know the key differences between mammoths and elephants. Mammoths are heavier than elephants and have very long tusks. They are more twisted than ivory and can grow up to 16 feet long. The longest ivory is 11 feet and 7 inches long. Only Asian elephants have no tusks in females. Mammoths and African elephants have two tusks. Finally, when it comes to their trunks, both African elephants and mammoths have two extensions from the ends of their trunks that are used for grasping. Asian elephants have only one. If you have ever seen an elephant, they have very thin hair, sometimes it looks like they have no hair at all. And mammoths have thick fur that adapts to colder climates. They are like double coats to keep them warm during harsh winters.
Mammoths have a hump on their backs near their shoulders, but elephants do not. Asian elephants have more rounded backs, while African elephants have backs that slope down the middle. Mammoths and Asian elephants also have a more distinctive head, while the African elephant's forehead slopes straight down into the trunk. There is a barely visible dividing structure between the head and the trunk. Mammoths have larger heads than other elephant species and are more rounded in shape. Finally, African and Asian elephants have longer ears than mammoths. Mammoths and elephants are descendants of the same animal. However, at some point in history, mammoths evolved to travel outside the warmer climates of Africa, Asia, and Europe. While elephants lived in this area, mammoths traveled all the way to North America. Over time, they adapted to colder climates and thus were able to survive these subsequent journeys. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this channel. Guys if you have something to say please leave the comment.